Hi, I'm Ning Tao Jin, first year pure physics student from School of Physics, and I'm the presenter. Hello, I'm Chao Hong Chen. I'm a first year pure physics student from School of Physics. I'm the video editor of this video. I'm Ban Yang Park, first year pure physics student from School of Physics, and I'm the script editor of this video. In year 2002, Sony and Philips has invented a new short-range wireless technology based on RFID, which is NFC. Nowadays, NFC has become the main feature of many smartphones. But for most people, NFC is still a new thing. NFC stands for Near Field Communication. NFC is actually similar to Bluetooth that we know. But what is the difference between NFC and Bluetooth? To connect Bluetooth, you need to open the Bluetooth, find the devices, and pair. But a NFC connection is simple, you just touch it. By touching two NFC supported devices can instantly make connection. The whole process is fast, simple, and intuitive. So how does NFC work? Unlike Bluetooth, NFC works through inductive coupling. A NFC supported device contains a NFC antenna which is loops of wire. The reader creates a magnetic field in its antenna with an alternating current. This magnetic field then induces a current in the NFC tag. This induced current also creates a magnetic field. The induced magnetic field is determined by the data stored in the tag. Therefore, the reader can read the magnetic field as the information desired. There are a lot of applications with NFC. For example, by touching the NFC tag on headphones, we can directly pair our smartphone with headphone. Some internet routers come with a NFC tag. Touching the NFC tag with smartphone can directly connect to the Wi-Fi. NFC also allows laptop to make connection and instantly transfer file with smartphone sharing data like contacts or images between mobile phones is also possible with NFC. We can also buy programmable NFC tag and write our own custom function in the tag to achieve the function that we want like calling someone, accessing a website or opening an app in our phone. Besides, NFC is also compatible with IC card. Therefore, NFC can stimulate any IC card like bank card, access card, or even transportation card. Smartphone that supports NFC usually come with a wallet app like Apple Pay in the Apple phone. By adding the IC card info into the wallet app, our phone can be used as the IC card with NFC. For instance, if we had added our credit card into the wallet app, we can make payment with our phone using NFC. If we had added transportation card into the wallet app, we can directly scan our phone with NFC while riding the public transport. We can also make our phone as an access card, like using our phone as a car key or to access a room with NFC as well. Although NFC also usually found on smartphone, we can also found NFC on many other devices like tablets, smartwatch, and gaming console, which also come with their own application as well. The advantages of NFC are obvious. It is easier to make connection compared to Bluetooth, which requires tedious pairing and configuring. Connection with NFC is simple, convenient, and saves us a lot of time. More importantly, it is also user-friendly. Payment with NFC is all secure than credit card as the retailer do not have the access to information of the credit card. However, NFC also comes with its own limitation. The transfer limit of NFC is only 400 kilobytes per second, which is much more smaller than 3 megabytes per second from Bluetooth. Therefore, it is not feasible to transfer large files with NFC. The NFC connection distance is also shorter compared to Bluetooth. It loses connection when two NFC devices separated more than 4 cm. Furthermore, not everyone have a smartphone that come with NFC feature, which is why NFC is still not widely used and popular today. In conclusion, I believe that now you have know what is NFC and what can NFC do. 
If you have a smartphone that supports NFC, you shall try those applications that I mentioned just now. Right now, most people are still not familiar with NFC and not widely used, but it has the potential to become more common in the near future. Thank you.